According to a report from the Global Burden of Disease Study, published on Thursday, January 7, 2022, by The Lancelet, a journal of public health, Nigerians living with dementia are projected to exceed 1.4 million by 2050. Additional studies indicate that individuals can reduce their risk of cognitive decline and dementia through physical activity, abstaining from smoking, avoiding harmful alcohol consumption, and controlling weight. The report, the first to provide forecasting estimates for 195 countries worldwide, suggests that approximately 153 million people globally will be living with dementia by 2050. Dementia encompasses a group of chronic conditions characterized by deteriorating cognitive function stemming from damaged brain cells or neurons. Different types of dementia are classified by the affected part of the brain, with Alzheimer's disease being the most recognized example. Hence, Alzheimer and other organizations are supporting this forum with health educators from 57 LCDAs in Lagos gather at the LCCI Center in Alausa, Lagos for knowledge-based training. <laughs> Participants at the workshop discussed the benefits of the training and its potential societal impact, emphasizing the low awareness of dementia in Nigeria and the need to bridge gaps in communities. They speak on what the impact will be in the society. We have gained a lot from the trainings, so concerning the, the trainings, it is a, a lot of knowledge that we have in fact and look us to be able to improve more, uh, to know more about the the medicians uh, patients in our previous uh, communities. So to be able to diagnose them, to give them, to correct them, and to give them back, to so be able to manage them. It's a beautiful idea for engaging in this kind of training because it will allow us to identify dementia problems in, in our community. And I think I've had enough of knowledge concerning this topic, dementia. So I have a lot to take home to my people. From what I've learned here now, how we're able to take it home because you know, sometimes ago we came for this mental because at times people don't I don't really differentiate between mental problem with dementia. But now I have a broad knowledge of there are two different things. And as a an health education officer, I was able to create more awareness and demand generation on dementia so that the people in my community were able to differentiate between dementia and mental illness. Globally, about 15 million people are living with dementia, of which Alzheimer accounts for up to 70% of diagnosed cases. But in Nigeria, the awareness is low. That is why these health educators are here to reduce the gaps in our communities. On dementia risk reduction, so it's a project to train health educators on being able to create awareness and able to assess for dementia risk in the population. The risk for dementia increases with age, which means that the older our population gets, the higher the risk is for people. As a low and middle income country, we are fast approaching older ages. We're having people living longer and therefore we have people with a higher risk for dementia. And so this is now time for us to begin to assess risk and um, tell people about their risk and also to reduce their risk. Health educators are 
health workers that interface between our primary health care facilities and the community. They are already involved in a lot of health education work, mostly on children's health and women's health and the environment in general. We want to incorporate this admission to create dementia awareness in, among health educators so that as they go and do their usual health education activities, they can also speak to people in their middle age from the age of 50 upwards and tell them about uh, dementia and also be able to use a tool to assess their risk towards dementia. And so today we have gathered health educators across the 57 local government areas and local council development areas in Lagos State for a two-day training to, to train them on dementia, what are the symptoms, what are the risk factors, how do you use the tools to assess for it, and what do you do when somebody is um, being suspected for dementia, which is mostly that they are able to refer to the facility for other work. This project um, is ongoing and will continue beyond um, the, the classroom, even into the field, where we would have a practical training. I believe we've done a very good job at educating them on how to recognize people with dementia, on how to assess them, as well as how to address risk factors. So I'm sure when they go out there, they'll be able to counsel people, identify. And I think the other thing that is actually important is the things that look like dementia, we might be able to sort them out and refer appropriately for care. If you run into some unexpected uh, situations like uncooperative people, um, some people are just at last, different in approach and um, I mean, not just the normal yes, no questions, but we've already prepared them. People with dementia who have serious behavioral problems. So I'm sure with that at the back of their mind, they might be able to address that better if they were not exposed to some of those things. We did a little bit of role playing, and some of them actually acted out as if they had dementia. You could see that the people are saying, we'd be taken them back. But with them, they were able to bounce back. So we're going to see some of this out there. And the little experience that they might be able to address it better than they've not been exposed to this. The facilitators also explain why the training is important. Each of our health educators will go back to their communities and identify um, up to 20 older people where they can go with also share awareness. And if we do that calculation, we'll see that we're reaching over 1,000 um, people who are getting to their middle age and older ages and creating this awareness. So and this is just the initial phase. Afterwards, you know, we'll, they will be able to spread on more to more people, but at least for this initial stage, yeah. To speak with uh, people and assess their risk, it will be important to be able to look at interventions based on what our findings are. They do not know what our findings will be just yet, but that would help us to develop uh, interventions that will promote healthy aging among people and reduce their risk for dementia. This is a pilot project. Experts believe the initiative will help identify approximately 1,000 people living with dementia in Lagos State. Said something. The other thing is. Um... I think the, apart from targeting health educators, teachers are people to target. Because usually, um, when you speak to children in all the clients, I think some of these things are incorporated. They're exposed to things like this at early stages, maybe in their curriculum. You know, there's something like stroke, they know there's something like dementia. So it is not a new word to them. So they can relate better. Then um, the other ways of creating awareness, social media, um, radio programs, funding. One entry is needed because I don't think the government is, apart from AV trainings and all that, I don't think the government is into um, creating facilities dedicated to the care of elderly and people who have um, neurological disease in old age. So I think they should prioritize. Everybody is going to reactive medicine globally. In Nigeria, they're still far behind. So funding, research into that area would help to also be more aware of diseases like dementia and how to approach and deal with them. Participants expressed their belief that the training is instrumental in reducing stigma 
and improving treatment and management of dementia in Lagos State.